Here we are in a beautiful autumn day in Latvia, quiet and peaceful forest. And today's question is one that I received, and it's a wonderful question. The question is, if I am not my ego, then what or who am I? It's a perfect question. Perfect. This is the most important question anyone can ask. I can answer your question, but you'll still need to experience this for yourself to really have the answer. Otherwise, this will just be another intellectual exercise, and you'll keep asking the same question again and again without resolution. I'll share with you some methods to experience this later in the video. So the question is, who and what are you? The answer is, you are pure, pristine, infinite awareness, infinite consciousness. You are life, infinite, immortal, and formless, yet being all form. The consciousness that you are is not yours. The awareness that you are is not yours. Life does not belong to you. The soul is not yours. Purpose in life is not yours. You have nothing. You possess nothing. You are not the one who is conscious. You are not the one who is aware. You are not the creator. You are life itself, but not the one who is alive, nor the one who possesses life. The ego is terrified of this truth. It mistakenly believes that this truth is its demise. It will do anything to keep you from experiencing who and what you really are. Right now it seems absolutely real that you are a physical human being and that you are separate, unique, and have your own personality, thoughts, emotions, possessions, history, and life. There's nothing inherently wrong with this belief system. It has a purpose and is the way it's supposed to be. If physical reality and personal identity did not feel absolutely real, there would be no purpose to physical reality or life. But this misidentification of your identity as a separate me is also the primary source of all suffering. If you wish to experience what I've just described, there are a number of ways of doing this, but they all lead to the same point, to the same place. Surrender and dissolving. Here are some practices you can work with. Meditation is a very helpful tool for experiencing the true self. Meditations that guide you into stillness are most helpful because experiencing the true self requires absolute stillness, quiet, and thoughtlessness, being without thought. Experiencing the true self requires surrender of everything you think you are, as well as all control, desires, possessions, intellectual understandings, knowledge, history, and beliefs. Meditation, mindfulness, and contemplation are very helpful in experiencing surrender. I guess I would say they're essential. Experiencing the true self also requires dissolving your body, mind, and separate identity into everything around you, the infinite sea of consciousness, emptiness, until there is absolutely nothing left of you like a drop of water dissolving into the ocean, so that it's no longer a drop, but the ocean itself. You must dissolve, though, without knowing what will happen and without any control or purpose. Finally, it is essential to live the true self in daily life, to be authentically yourself, to be genuine. It takes daily and consistent practice to experience results, as well as your absolute commitment. To experience the true self requires that your number one priority in life 
is to experience the true self. Nothing can be more important. Nothing. But there's a paradox in all of this. If at any time it feels like a struggle, then it will not happen. If you seek and strive to experience the true self, it will not happen. If it feels that you are on a path or journey to enlightenment, awakening, or experiencing the true self, then you will not arrive. The journey, path, and struggle are all distractions and illusions. Right now, at this very moment, as you are watching this video and hearing me, you are already the true self, the one listening and the one speaking are the same exact one. There is no other. There is only one right this moment experiencing itself, being itself, creating itself. I've outlined how to do this in articles, practice, practices, meditations, and videos at www.lifesanswers.org. I've also posted many meditations at www.johnshore.net. Feel free to make use of any of this and all of this material. That's why I've put it there. And also, if you need any support or would like some help in this process, just let me know. You can contact me through lifesanswers.org website. I'm more than happy to help. So for now, from this fantastic forest in Latvia, I wish you all the best. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Take good care and bye for now.